At the end of this cold and dark looking street, we see a car that looks ever so neat. It doesn't go fast and it doesn't go far, but in the winter it starts to look subpar. As we gaze through the window of this humble abode, we see a man with troubles and woes. He cannot sleep while his car rots away. Let's see if a solution will come to his brain. Uh, rust. Oh, but, but holes. Corrosion. Uh. I need a new daily. By heck. I think we've got it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob and this is Build It TV. Um, pretty much right the way through 2021, I was driving my Advan livery R34. Looks a bit like that. And the weather was great from sort of March onwards all the way through. Got to like November and the weather started getting really bad. And we had loads of rain and snow and horribleness. So I wanted to take it off the road, but I needed something to drive because otherwise I can't get to the unit. I can't work on cars. I can't make videos. So I did a little poll on my Instagram. If you're not following, just click the link first link down below um, and put out three cars out there a suggestion that I was thinking of buying and here they are so first one was a uh, bit of an oddball Skoda truck uh, the second one was a Datsun pickup and the third one was a Honda S2000 now what came first in that poll was the Datsun pickup and I have full intention of buying it purely just based off of that plus it's a Datsun I wanted it but I got outbid on that one. So, plan B, option two, scenario C, whatever. Um, I went and looked at an S2000 and I bought it. So out of that list, buying an S2000 was a bit of a no-brainer. For many reasons that I'm going to explain through this video, but you know the one that comes to the absolute top of the list? Because I've always wanted to own one. And I think that's the, the goal at the minute, is to chase your dreams and try and drive as many of these classic JDM cars as you can before they're unobtainable. Even if it's a case of just getting one for six months and be able to try it, you're not going to lose any money. So you might as well enjoy it rather than having the money sat in the bank. And that leads me on to point number one. Financially, it made a lot of sense. Hello, I like money. So, people are quite fickle. Um, when it gets snowy, they buy 4 by 4s When it gets sunny, they buy convertibles. So, if you're going to flip that round and buy a convertible in the winter, you're going to get a good deal because no one else is going to be buying them. To give you an idea, this car, just over the time I've owned it, has gone up probably about 15 to 20% in price. It's not nothing. And it means that I get to enjoy this car and not have to worry about it. Even if I have to change all four tires and do a service, I'm still quids in. Yay! It's the looks. This thing looks great. And you know what? Even in this most mild of color options with gray, with black wheels, Silverstone Metallic, it still gets looks. You get kids pointing as you drive past. You get people staring at them because 
although we live in this JDM world where we see these cars all the time at shows or on TV or whatever, most people don't see these. I saw one other while I've been driving this for six months and he waved. Um, older gentleman. The styling on this car is that classic long bonnet, short back end, two seater. I think it looks great with the top up. Hard tops even better. Just for the way this car looks, I would have bought it for that. This car is incredible to drive. The matchup between the four cylinder naturally aspirated rear wheel drive, the gearbox is exact. I mean, everything is exactly where you want it. Remember, this car's done 176,000 miles and is pushing 20 years old. So I can't think of any other car I could go out and buy that could still perform like this for this money at this age. Sounds silly, but in the winter, you want your car to heat up as quick as possible. This has a small cabin with a really good set of heaters. All Cabriolets come with great heating with them um, because they want to keep you warm with the top down. So imagine with the top up, you just roast it in there. It may seem like a funny one, but it's always been clear to me that Cabriolets in the winter make sense just for that. The sound system, again, for exact same reason as the heaters, because you've got a soft top roof, it's gonna be more noisy than it's hard top counterparts that it's going to be competing against so you want to drown out that noise now the engine does a pretty good job of that but if you want to drown out properly the stereo system is the way to go and with the standard setup in this car it sounds fantastic and it's all sorts of music and you really the highs and the lows in them and last but not least reliability this is a honda this thing the reason i bought this particular one even though it's done the miles it's done, is because it has full Honda service history. Every single receipt from every single service, bulb, tire, anything that's been done, gearbox oil change, differential change, has all been done at a Honda main dealer. And I think that's as essential as the car itself. No one I could jump into this and everything that's been done to it has been done by a professional that is trained on that car. The flip side of that means if I want to get anything done, there's no way I'm taking it anywhere other than a Honda dealership. So it's gonna cost me a little bit more. Fair enough, but it's gonna keep the value in this car. If just the last service had been done at an independent garage, it, it loses all of it. It loses everything before that, because that's just the current one. You gotta remember they built this about the same time as they built the EP3 Civic, but it seems like they put three times the funding into this and sold a tenth as many. So that was something a little bit different on this video. Thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate it. And if you're thinking of buying an S2000, why not, right? Just run one for the winner. See how you get on. I'm sure, like me, you will enjoy it. Back to building stuff next week. And fingers crossed we should have that RB26 swapped R34 GTT firing up. So uh, see you then. Yeah. Raising the Tobagos, we growing like fresh tomatoes. The boys on fire, two fuego, we pass it brown hot potato. Everything is new wavo, I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso, need my